a hypersonic demonstrator aircraft the size of an F-22 stealth fighter for less than $1 billion. What a deal, man. What a deal. Just think, for only a billion dollars, we could build a plane that could start World War III faster than any other plane has ever been able to do before. T minus five, four, three, two, one. Hit the button, baby. Party dance time. The word star, man, it's an illusion. Stay cool. Thor News is for winners, and that's why you're here. So stick around. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents. Ladies and gentlemen, we are over at Fortune Magazine talking about tech and defense. I feel the need, the need for speed. All right, Lockheed Martin could soon be making a plane that can reach Mach 6. Well, that's interesting, but if you really want to impress me, reach Mach 7, because seven's such a cool number. Though I have to admit, doing one more than Speed Racer's car is pretty impressive. Now I want to point out, when you say who owns Lockheed Martin, it's Kitty Pride from the X-Men, so I think it is ironic, interesting, and serendipitous, did I use any of those words correctly, that the plane they're showing us looks a lot like the X-Men's supersonic plane. You guys can hate the X-Men and Kitty Pride all you want, but I actually know several people who work for Lockheed Martin and have worked for Lockheed Martin and they're pretty good people, so at the end of the day, it's good to know that we have some people on the Astonishers that are pretty high up there in the defense and tech department. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, if the Astonishers were just made of YouTubers, we'd be fucked. All right, this program could transform global strategic balance. Asterisk timeout. Let me just say, I think everybody knows that the greatest and finest technologies we all have are stored and locked away in some vault only to be used by like Goldman Sachs and the president of Exxon and all those Nebraska Navy pilots. So clearly, they have spaceships and technologies that are far greater than anything you've ever seen or imagined, but they're just not going to let them see us. They're just not going to let us see them until the time is right. When is that time? I have no clue. Maybe never. But that's not what we're working for. We're working for a thousand years of peace and a global jubilee. But that scares a lot of people. So let me get back to the super fast plane. Lockheed Martin Corp is on the verge of a major breakthrough in making a war plane that can fly six times the speed of sound. CEO Marilyn Hewson said on Tuesday. <sighs> yeah, but how many mocks is it before your face starts to look like pancake jelly? You know, get all goofy looking and stuff. Because you would think you could use it for commercial travel. Because if I could go from Texas to California in like five minutes, that'd be cool. Yeah, naked short killer, I know. You want me to talk about the jump rooms, but maybe next time. I don't want to distract people too much. Speaking to reporters at the Lockheed's annual media day, Houston said the company has already made progress on hypersonic programs and was producing an, an aerodynamic configuration, which could reach Mach 6, or six times the speed of sound, enabling it to respond to security threats much more quickly than current fighter jets. Hey, so maybe if we had these planes on 9-11, we could have shot down those airliners? Oh, hey, wait, those planes, the jet fighters we had were fast enough that day. Never mind, I don't wanna, I don't wanna get too far off track, you know what I'm saying? And who are we fighting anyway? Russia? China? I would think that that war would be won with diplomacy, knowing that mutually assured destruction serves no one except for the Martians. You know what I'm saying? Can't we all as humans agree we do not want to be beat by Martians, reptiles, or bugs? You know what I'm saying? Can't we come together just to not get our ass kicked by Martians, reptiles, or bugs? Now don't get me wrong, I understand. The whole solar system is at war, and I got nothing against bugs, I got nothing against reptiles, and I got nothing against Martians. But what I got against is war. I'm sick and tired of this mindfuckery, total fucking, like, we are now at total war with a phantom state that uses, like, 1980s weapons. So you're telling me that, like, Lockheed Martin, Boeing, and Raytheon combined couldn't just wipe the Taliban and, off, and, and ISIS off the map if they wanted to? You're telling me they don't have laser beams that couldn't just fry individual people everywhere they go? Like, I don't know. It's just all a joke. It's like they're fighting in a 1980s warfare with 2016 technology. And everybody buys it. I don't know. I shouldn't have read this article, man. It's giving me trouble. It's just so, like, war is so caveman. War is so stupid. War is a product of your fiat currency. The U.S. Department has said it wants to build what it calls a prompt global strike capability that would enable it to hit targets worldwide within an hour with conventional or nuclear warheads. 
man, let me just tell you this. The moment we're hitting a bunch of shit with nukes, it's game over. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just game over. So what we're trying to do here now is avoid total nuclear annihilation. Remember, the nukes were from the 40s, man. Whatever they're using now, 70 years later, are going to be a zillion times more powerful. So one or two of those things are going to pop. Everybody's going to die. The atmosphere is going to be ripped off. And Earth is going to be a dead planet just like Mars. Asterisk. All right, this is getting me too emotional. According to a report published by the Mitchell Institute for Aerospace Studies earlier this year, hypersonics had the potential to revolutionize the military, much like stealth fighters did a generation ago. Did stealth fighters really revolutionize the military? I mean, if anything, did it was drones, which meant that they didn't need humans anymore. They could just use robots and rely on a select group of drone pilots until the artificial intelligence got smart enough to control all the fully autonomous drones. This article's really bummed me out. I don't know if I'm going to make it all the way through. By fundamentally redefining the technical means of power projection, the U.S. can circumvent challenges facing the present force, the report said. Houston said that Lockheed could develop and build a hypersonic demonstrator aircraft the size of an F-22 stealth fighter for less than $1 billion. What a deal, man. What a deal. Just think, for only a billion dollars, we could build a plane that could start World War III faster than any other plane has ever been able to do before. I don't know what weapons... World War III is going to be fought with, but World War IV will be fought with sticks and stones, said Einstein. Or Orlando Carvalho, who heads Lockheed's aeronautics division, said the government's current plan was to produce a hypersonic weapon and field that before moving to develop and field a hypersonic aircraft. What the hell? Said the government's current plan was to produce a hypersonic weapon and field that before moving to develop and field a hypersonic aircraft. In 2013, Lockheed unveiled plans for a hypersonic spy plane called the SR-72 that could fly at Mach 6, twice as fast as the famed SR-71 Blackbird, and set a missile demonstrating the new technology could fly as early as 2018. What about the aliens, man? Shouldn't we unify to fight the aliens? Carl Avaho said the United States could realistically create a hypersonic weapon in the 2020s, but it would likely take until the 2030s to produce a hypersonic aircraft like the SR-72. Separately, Separately, CEO Houston said she has no regrets about buying helicopter maker Sikorsky for $9 billion in November, even though sliding oil prices have taken a bigger bite than expected from its commercial helicopter sales as energy companies have, have slashed spending. I think Lockheed Martin's doing okay, man. You know, even if it's not their most profitable year ever, I think they're still going to be around next year and the year after that. Hey, even if there's World War III and almost everybody's dead, I think there'll be some Lockheed Martin folks that are alive. Houston said buying Sierkowski from you. How do we switch over? What the hell does this have to do with shit, man? I just want to know about a fast plane. I don't want to know about bad oil deals. She expected oil prices to recover over the long term. Yeah, what else is she going to say? Like, peak oil was a lie? We got more oil than you ever dreamed of? All right, well, I don't want to talk about that stupid helicopter. Anyway, so there you go, man. Super spawning. There you go. We now have the capability to start World War III faster than ever. Wonderful. God bless everybody. Come on, Kitty Pride. Jean Grey. Don't let me down. Peace out.